Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies, and this is the Yoss Barebow Weight. Yoss make a lot of archery gear, a lot of archery gear for barebow recurve archers. The weights are one of them. So they produce the weights in stainless or brass. So these are 26 ounce. They have, I think, 16 ounces and a couple of other sizes. They're off center on the riser. So like that. Now the reason for that is they can basically change the position of the weight to change the balance of your recurve. Now the problem with a normal recurve riser like this, when you shoot it, it's top heavy. So when you shoot, it's going to bounce back. So the idea of this is you're put, going to put a weight down probably as low as you can, probably on this position here, or on here, or even on the back, or all of those spots, to change the weight, to add more weight to the bow downwards. A normal target recurve archer will have stabilizers to stabilize the bow. A bare bow recurve bow or archer is not allowed to have stabilizers. They're limited, limited to the um, bow having to go through a ring, I think a 12 inch ring. So they're not allowed to have any stabilizers. So they can put weights on the riser but that's basically it. So some of the risers, like the Gillows, they had, um, have weights down here in the Hoyts, which they build in here. But otherwise, you just take your normal um, recurve riser and fit these weights to it. Now, the Yoss weight is a specialised weight. It won't be available at all your archery shops. In fact, before doing this video, I checked online. Um, we, had them on, we had them for sale for 85 Australian dollars. I found them in Canada. For 72 US dollars, um, I assume that's Canadian dollars, I don't know, but 72 dollars, um, and that's all I can find in the world. Now, brass weight. Now, the reason is you're not going to sell many of these things. There's not many bare bow archers, bare bow recurve archers, so it's a unique item, and bare bow recurve archers, well, some of them will be shooting gillow risers and use, be using the gillow weights and various gillow weights. And we get asked all the time about which weight we should be using. Some will be shooting normal weights, some will make their own weights, etc. So this is a solid brass piece of weight. Now, I don't know what brass costs, but there it is. Um, now, so I sent this out to a customer. Um, they come in a, um, so I'm going to say Yoss must be a small company. It comes in a plastic bag with um, bubble wrap inside. And it's just like this. So there's no display. You can't display these in your shop. You'd probably put them under a counter. Now this one we sent out to a customer. And if you, I can probably zoom in. Just there there's a mark. So just there there's a mark. Now you'll see on any photo you can see on these Yost Bearbo weights, they all look a bit different, they all have marks on them. So this customer got this weight, completely unhappy with it, sent it back. Um, we sent them a new, at our cost, we sent them a stainless steel one um, back. But you can see there's like fine scratches up here. But well, that's brass. That's the way brass is going to be and this is going to tarnish over time as well. Um, we send them out stainless steel one at our cost. Now the problem is If you buy one of these and you go, oh look, I'm not happy with this little scratch on it The shop The you know if you walk into a shop and you see it and you're like, well, there's one of these in stock It's got a little scratch. You're not going to have a problem with the dealer um, Yost is obviously not going to do anything about this um, but if you order one via um, online you'll have an expectation that there won't be maybe a little scratch like that there. Um, but they do. Um, it's one of the reasons why I do this. There's a little scratch here. Look, you can barely see them. And what it's got a function. The function is to add weight to the recurve bow. Again, I'm going to sort of say there's not many archery shops left. Um, the margins are rubbish. So there's no margin in any of this stuff. Um, and if you're going to send these things out for free and you're going to have to cover the cost of poachers backwards and forwards um, You're not going to stop them um, Because there's no money in it So anyway, so if you're buying a Yost weight Expect there to be dents, expect there to be scratches And let's say you get one which amazingly has no scratches or dents You're probably going to put a dent in it because brass is very soft So um, Look, I don't Look, I I don't know. It's 
That's the Yoss weight. They're a good idea. Great for great for Bearbo. There's very few of them around. Um, but bear in mind, if you're going to buy one, you're going to have a chance of having a scratch in it. And if you go to return it to the shop, they're probably going to go, well, Yost. They're going to say, well, that's the way life is. That's my guess. So anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Yost Bearbo White. Thanks for watching.